Hello friends, I am your friend Takshi Yago with a new topic of geography that is mountains. Before starting, please click the subscribe button and do not forget to ring the notification bell to get the instant updates. Now let's get started. Mountains. Any elevated flat land is known as a mountain. It is a part, large mass of land that has rised abruptly as compared to its surrounding areas. A mountain generally has two parts. Let's study. Here, suppose this is a mountain, uh, like this, yeah, this is a mountain, then it has two parts, one part is this top, top sharp peak, that is top sharp point, that is known as the peak, yeah, it is called the peak or summit, S U W M I T. now it slopes down in this way to the flat part, that is called the base. This is the base part. And this is the peak or summit part. Yes. Now many parts, many mountains around from this to this point, this part to this point, they are covered with snow. These are called, they are called snow caps. And what about the, and uh, rivers of ice are a common feature on the mountains such as there can be a river of ice here or here, anywhere. They are a common feature in the, they are a common feature on some mountains. And these rivers are known as the glaciers. In India, the Siachen Glacier and the Gangotri Glacier give rise to perennial rivers. Now what is perennial? Perennial. Perennial means all around the year. Means perennial rivers are the rivers that that go all around the year. They do not stop any time at the year. Now, as I told you earlier, the Luni in the Indian Physical Divisions Part 2, the river Luni of the Great Indian Desert is not a perennial river. It runs only for a part of the year in the Great Indian Desert. Now, what about its types? Mountains can be formed due to faulting folding, breaking into different parts or volcanic eruptions or even some soft rocks get together to form mountains. On the basis of the formation, mountains can be classified into four types. These types are the fold mountains, block mountains, volcanic mountains and residual mountains. Let's get started. Fold mountains. The mountains that are made, formed by the collision of the tectonic plates that causes a large amount of compression, forces of compression and that lead to a large area of pushed, a large area is pushed up due to these forces of compression. See, uh, like these are the tectonic plates. See, uh, this and this. They slide over each other in this way. Then they cause extreme forces of compression, so the land above them rises to a great height and forms a fold mountain. These are, they have mainly two parts, the anticline and the syncline. The lower part is known as the syncline and the upper part is known as the anticline. Yes, done, fold mountain. Yeah, let's get to the next. Yes, what are the examples of fold mountains? The Indian Himalayas, the Alps. Of now, and there can be even other mountains that are of even other countries, such as the Alps, the Andes, etc. Block mountains. Let's get to the second part. That is the block mountains. These are created when a large area or large mass is broken up into several blocks due to the forces of compression. Suppose this is a large plain. Then due to the forces of compression, it breaks up into many parts such as this, this and this. Let's see. Suppose these are the parts. So from these parts, the block mountains are formed. This is the formation of the block mountains. The upper rocks that together form the mountains are known as the hosts. H-O-R-S-T-S. Hosts. And the lower rocks that stay on the ground are known as grabens. Grabens or rift valleys. They together form, they may be small or together form extensive rift valley systems. Now, so what are the some rock mountains, block mountains, such as the Vosages? Yeah, the Vosages is the black forest. Then, block mountains, let's get to the next point. Let, 
the next type that is the volcanic mountains as the name suggests the volcanic mountains here as you can see the volcanic Volk do you know what volcanic means let me tell you volcanic means anything that has erupted from a volcano such as if a volcano erupts then the lava that comes out of it is volcanic it's volcanic lava yeah and it comes out of the magma chamber that is at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the what is it volcano yeah uh, bottom of the volcano and when an earthquake during an earthquake it shakes and comes up to the crater from where it's come it comes out in the form of magma or lava then it cools suppose this is a uh, let me make a new suppose this is a volcano and this is a crater this is the magma chamber uh, like this in this way and this is the way up to the crater so the, when there is an earthquake suppose it is an earthquake so the magma uh, here rises up and up and up until it reaches the <coughs> crater and goes out spreads away and causes destruction now when this lava cools down it forms rocks known as the igneous rocks that forms that form layers on the sides of the volcano and that together make up a cone shaped mountain then it is known as a volcanic mountain <clears throat> for example mount Ves mount vesuvius mount kilimanjaro mount fujiwara etc now done and the last type that is the residual mountains yeah what are residual mountains <clears throat> the residual mountains are the mountains let me tell you in short and when there are soft rocks and hard rocks over a million of years the soft rocks get more eroded than the hard ones they remain in the same place and together come to form a mountain which is known as a residual mountain this is how the residual mountains are formed yes as you can see for example the highlands or the highlands of scotland yeah so friends please tell please write in the comments how much did you like this video like this video share this video and please subscribe my youtube channel takshil yadav jai hind